You ever have a situation where you're talking to this girl? You've been talking to her for a while, too, and you're very, very interested in this girl. Uh, y'all conversations, y'all go back and forth. Y'all have the late night conversations, the FaceTime, the text back and forth. Y'all always just checking up on each other at random times of the day. You really like this girl, and you think that she likes you, too. Only one problem, though. You think there's somebody else trying to talk to her, too. And that other person trying to talk to her, they, they present a really significant challenge. Because they may have some things and some features that you just don't. But on the flip side, you may have some features that they don't. That you may have something that they just can't offer. So you're like, man, I really like her. You know what? I'm going to ask her out. Let's listen to the Ravens version of asking out Odell Beckham Jr. But apparently it's being met with some outside challenges. In the interim, the Baltimore Ravens have met with Odell Beckham Jr. They've presented him their own offer. We'll see which Odell Beckham Jr. finds more interesting, but it certainly sounds like it's the Jets, it's the Ravens, maybe the Rams still would have an interest, but those at this point in time would be the obvious landing spots for Odell Beckham Jr. in what has been one of the longest free agent recruitments that we've ever seen. So these Baltimore Ravens are seriously interested in Odell Beckham Jr. And I like this. I, I, I like this because we've continued to hear about all the interests, all the, the, the people that they are interested in, that they do their due diligence on, that they even meet with. But the problem it has always been closing the deal Mo on offense. On defense, not so much. But on offense, that's been a big issue, closing the deal. And, and we can understand why. We look at the Baltimore Ravens offense uh, for these past couple of years, more, more so the passing offense and how it just has not really featured wide receivers. And this goes beyond just these past couple of years. This has been a Baltimore Ravens thing. This has been their MO for a very, very long time. The lack of value that they truly consistently put into the wide receiver position. But now the Ravens are like, hey, we trying to turn over a new stone. We done tried through the draft, and we done had some 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 good ones. It could be better, but we done had some misses as well. But we're going to try to take a, a slightly different approach. Now, th this approach isn't all the way different. It isn't a complete turnaround for the Baltimore Ravens, but it is another start, so I'll take it. The reason I say it's not a complete turnaround, because Odell Beckham Jr., obviously we know when he does play, he's nice. When he is out there, he can ball. I mean, <laughs> Baltimore Ravens know firsthand from both his time on the Giants, even uh, on the Browns, he didn't really do too much damage to the Ravens. But then uh, when he was on the Rams, oh, we remember. We remember that game. Um, it did the bird flu and all. But anyway, with Odell Beckham Jr., we know what he's capable of. And he had been at one point in his career, at a few points in his career, he had been a top, certainly a top 10 wide receiver, and some can even argue a top five. But regardless, when he was out there, he is a playmaker. He's full of energy. He brings a good vibe to him. You can tell he's out there having a blast, having fun. So he would be something that the Ravens haven't really had too much of. But at the same time, he is over that 30 mark. And he is coming off an injury. So this is why it's not like too different from what the Ravens do. But at the same time, it is better. So this could hopefully, this should hopefully be the start of a new Baltimore Ravens team. A new direction that they could be going in when it comes to the wide receiver. So I, I like that they're not only interested in Odell Beckham Jr. I, I like that they said, hey. Just like we talked about earlier, when you've been talking to this girl for a long time, we know the Ravens been talking to Odell Beckham Jr. for a long time. They have literally been talking to him since before this past season was over. During the season, they were talking to Odell Beckham Jr. They were talking to him then. And every time there's an Odell Beckham Jr. report, there's a workout, you hear about teams interested in him, the Ravens' name, they show up every single time. We've heard reports that they have continued conversation with him, that they were at, at his workout, all of that stuff. We, that, that At the owners meeting, even uh, last week, that Odell Beckham Jr., he was speaking to them. And, of course, he did speak to some other teams, too. But he, Ravens were right there. And they have been here this whole time. So just like the guy that's been talking to this girl for months, 
interested in this girl for months. The Ravens presented the deal. Like, here, Odell Beckham Jr. There it is. We asking you out. <laughs> Can, are you going to be with us or no? But again, just like the guy who's asking a girl out, there's another guy too. And that other guy for the Ravens is the Jets. And it's a big competition. They are up against a lot with the New York Jets. Because the Jets, we saw last year, they really started to turn things around. And the Jets, although the Ravens did beat up on them early in the season, first game of the season, literally, uh, we saw promise out of the Jets in that game. And I remember I said it during that game, after that game, I said, oh, these Jets, they're going to be nice in like two years. Once they get that quarterback situation taken care of, they're going to be nice in like two years. I didn't think it was going to actually be last year. And now this year, like they're on the brink of getting the quarterback. And again, still waiting for this whole Aaron Rodgers thing to go through. And I keep saying it's a matter of time, but time keeps on ticking. And I mean, it's not like it's necessarily a rush, but you would think that this would definitely be done before the draft. So whatever draft compensation the, the Jets are going to give up and the Packers are going to acquire, it can be done. But the competition, um, something that the Jets can currently offer that the Ravens can't offer is, uh, well, actually, they technically can't offer it right now um, because there's uncertainty at quarterback right now, technically, because they haven't traded for Aaron Rodgers yet. It's expected that they trade for Aaron Rodgers, but they, they haven't done it yet. So right now, really, the Jets and Ravens are on the same boat when it comes to the quarterback situation for now. That could obviously change. Um, could change with a Aaron Rodgers going there, them sealing a the deal with him. It could change with Lamar Jackson signing a contract extension with the Ravens. It could all change for the better for both teams or for the worse. Because what could end up happening is that Aaron Rodgers, the whole thing falls apart. Falls apart. I don't anticipate that because it, the, the, the Packers are clearly moving in the direction of Jordan Love. He's the guy now. So Aaron Rodgers is not going to, I don't anticipate him being there. But we've seen crazier things happen. And with Lamar Jackson, we don't know. He could re-sign with the Ravens. I know them reports saying, oh, yeah, Lamar likely to stay with the Ravens. Da, 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 da. We'll see. We'll see. I still got my doubts, but we'll see. So it, it's just really a matter of time uh, with both situations. It's just we got to wait it out. And I think that's exactly what Odell Beckham Jr. is going to do. I think he will wait it out. Now, um, him waiting it out, it could be a little risky, a little bit, because depending on what kind of offer the Baltimore Ravens have given to him, and the Jets, if they've given him one too, but depending on what kind of offer the Baltimore Ravens have given Odell Beckham Jr., the longer he waits, Ravens may be like, you know what? No. We, we're going to gonna take some off of that offer. We, we, we wanted you to take this offer when it was hot. You know what? Now, no, we, I don't, we don't want to pay you as much anymore. They could do that. Because that happens. Because as the time goes along, they could be like, hey, we got this offer out there for Odell Beckham Jr. He ain't biting. You know what? We, we're going to start making other plans. We're going to start going in a different direction from Odell Beckham Jr. And hey, if he wants to still join the squad, cool, but we ain't going to wait on him. He'll be a luxury at that point. Now, I don't really think Odell Beckham Jr. will be a luxury. I think he, somebody like him would be a necessity, and I still feel the same way. I said this from jump. From jump, when, when this whole Odell Beckham Jr. to the Ravens possibility first started happening, I said Odell Beckham Jr. would be nice. He would be nice, but he can't be all. It's my opinion. He, he cannot be all. Love Odell Beckham Jr., phenomenal wide receiver, playmaking wide receiver. You can never have enough of those. But he can't be it. Only because of the injury history. Can't be it. Now, I would hope that now he, he's good to go. He's 100% clear and straight. We won't know till we know. But thinking about it, like Odell Beckham Jr. and Rashad Bateman as the outside wide receivers. Nelson Aguilar in the slot. Devin DuVernay. Like, 
you have receivers that can make some plays. That's that's potential right there. It is. But I still think one more. Just give me one more. Give me one more. Whether it's a big name, an established guy, which I would prefer, or, hey, you go early in the draft. Give, give, give me one more, Ravens. One more. And you got something. You really do. So we'll see. We'll see. This this thing, it, obviously, Ravens fans um, have been learning exactly how much or how little patience they have this offseason. Because it's, it's so many things that we just got to wait on. Just got to wait. Wait it out. Got to wait on what happens with DeAndre Hopkins. Wait on what happens with Odell Beckham Jr. Wait on what happens with Corlin Sutton. Wait on the Ravens to do something. Wait on the Ravens to sign an outside free agent. We, they were waiting on that for a long time. Then Ravens like, boom. Nelson Aguilar. And a lot of Ravens fans are like, oh, boom. Man. But hey, it's a waiting process. And obviously the biggest thing that we are all waiting for is what the resolution is going to be with Lamar Jackson. Because it ain't like it ain't no in between. It ain't it, it can't be no middle ground. It's, it's got to be something. It's got to be something. I I don't think just for the 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 health, the relationship of both of these two, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I I think that this thing it needs to be resolved this off season. Will it? Hey, it's a possibility that it might not be. But I really hope that it is, for better or for worse. And, I mean, hopefully it's for better. But we'll see. But either way, when, when, when this is resolved, it'll, be, it'll just be, it'll allow both parties to move forward with whatever they're going to do. Whether they move forward with each other or they unfortunately move forward without each other. So we'll see. But as far as Odell Beckham Jr., again... We just waiting it out, waiting it out. But I do think the longer that he waits, which is smart for him to wait, because between the Jets and the Ravens, it's a lot of question marks right now. It's a lot of question marks right now. Um, and even even beyond the whole quarterback thing, uh, when he looks at the Jets, and if they get Aaron Rodgers, he oh yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. I know they're gonna build an offense around him. I know they're gonna like be throwing that ball heavy. I already know I'm gonna give me my chances. But then you think about the Baltimore Ravens. Now he did play with Todd Munkin before their offensive coordinator, so that's a plus. So that, there's that experience, that, that that familiarity. So that's a good thing. Um, but would they re- like? Is the offense really gonna change? Will Harbaugh really let Todd Munkin have the reins of this offense? It's to be determined. Like, changing the offensive coordinator is great. Great. But you still got to show, like, hey, things are different now. So, in my opinion, I, I still feel like Ravens have a lot to prove as far as their passing offense. And they, like, last year, they, they, they looked like they were on their way. Things were better, for sure. They were, they were looking, like, a lot more improved, smoother. Rashad Bateman went down, and everything was just, it was bad after that. It got really bad after that. So, that's why it's the more the merrier, man. The more quality you got on the front and back end, the better. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And y'all just keep being great. Appreciate you. We out. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy. Shout out to Graven.